Welcome back everyone. The rain has certainly moved down from earlier this evening. We had some light scattered showers all throughout the valley, but at this point we all look pretty dry out there. The cloud cover continues here in Terre Haute and so does that muggy condition out there where the humidity is up to 87% and it's set to stay pretty high. The moisture content going to last with us through the overnight. We're at 74 here in Terre Haute. Winds coming in out of the southwest around five miles per hour. Now we do have some good news over in our Illinois County as the flash flood watch has been allowed to expire. It was around 7 p.m. But still ongoing is this flood warning that's draped all throughout the wall Bash Valley area. That's because the flood stage is being surpassed in many locations. Places like Montezuma flood stage is at 14 feet, currently at 19 and a half feet. Here in Terre Haute, flood stage 14 feet, currently at 17.3 feet, and not set to crest until Sunday at 21. 2 feet. Check out these numbers over the next several days here along the Wabash River in Terre Haute. Up to 18.1 feet by tomorrow evening, 18.8 by Friday. You can see these numbers just continue to trend upward. We'll get close to near moderate flooding by Sunday when the river finally crests. Again, just shy of 22 feet. That's the Wabash River here in Terre Haute. Of course, you can find all those numbers. I've linked a page to my Facebook page that'll take you over to the National Weather Service hydrologic page to give you updates there along all local rivers. We also have to keep a close eye on this tropical depression, the remnants of what was Tropical Storm Bill. Going to continue to track its way closer to the valley as we head into the weekend. At this point, looks like the rain associated with this will arrive late Friday into Saturday morning. Tack on to those rainfall totals. Here's a live look at what it looks like on clouds and radar. You can see it's spinning its way just north of Dallas, that center of low pressure. Going to continue to track off to the northeast over the next several days, as you just saw. And again, that will just add more rains. We head into the weekend. So your forecast for the overnight tonight. Notice a lot of that green is already off to our east. So the overnight, we stay pretty dry. Here's midnight. Mostly cloudy skies prevail, putting us into our Thursday morning. And then we'll start to see rain activity pick back up into the afternoon. Here's 5 p.m. Going through the day on Thursday, not a bad idea to keep that rain gear handy. So breaking down your day tomorrow, there will be some dry hours. Not going to be an all-day washout, but certainly still going to see that mostly cloudy sky. Temperatures rebound back to 76 at noon, 81 by 5 p.m. And again, just keep that rain gear ready to go. Becky Futurecast back up at 5 o'clock on Thursday. We'll roll through the overnight, putting us into a early Saturday more or Friday morning rather. And once again, you can see at 7 a.m. Rain becomes fairly widespread, a pretty saturated way to wrap up the weekend. Put us into our weekend here Saturday at 3 p.m. Keeping a close eye on those weather models. The rain at this point is going to be the remnants of that tropical storm and where that center of low pressure tracks will really have an influence on how much rain we see. Still see these uh, weather models not necessarily agreeing on how much rain we'll see. Of course, that's a number that we'll be more certain about as we head through the next day or so. So your forecast for the overnight tonight, 69 with a mostly cloudy sky. Could see a stray shower or two, but widespread rain doesn't return until tomorrow. Going with a 40% chance of rain for your Thursday. Heading into Friday, more rain on the way. Same deal Saturday, mainly in the morning and in the afternoon. We will see more dry hours Saturday nights into Sunday and then looking ahead at next week. But Teresa looks like we are finally going to dry things up. So just need to get through the rest of this week and then it looks like we're going to see those improving conditions.